Hey everyone, it's recording. So you've joined me. It's a different time now for you compared to making the video. I want to share with you my thoughts today about all raw, raw food. I'd like to say that for me, all raw is like, it's just a level. Um, it's not even necessarily the hardest thing to do. It's even easy. Um, especially if you're having some salads with like tasty things like olives, sun-dried tomatoes, uh, kelp powder, if you like sea salt or not. Hey Hello, good morning. Um, so basically speaking, you know, like for me, all raw is pretty simple. For me, you know, sometimes you can break all raw easily and that's fine too. And it has an effect. The more you're used to eating lightly, uh, such a beautiful day here in Ireland, by the way. I hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. See the beautiful flowers and everything. So, so I want to enjoy the present moment at the same time as making a video. Not to get too lost in the mental. Um, and where you are, you can enjoy where you are also. Not to get too lost in this video completely. Um, so for me, I think, like, basically speaking, if you, want, if you want to be a healthy, fully functioning human being, you do really, like... I'm well, talking about body, mind, spirit, emotional. You do want to be, if you want to be inspired, fit, healthy, disease free, thriving, prosperous, energetic, vigorous, radiant, and in harmony to chakra, all chakras as much as possible, you want to be basically go, going close to all raw at least. Like there's also the dense all raw, which is like nuts, seeds, uh, a lot of avocados possibly nut butters, a lot of oil, like it's good to have these things in moderation but they kind of mimic cooked foods to a degree, they can be a bit heavy, slightly sedating, they induce sort of relaxation or tiredness or sometimes they can induce stimulation like cacao, cho raw chocolates and stuff, uh, increase your libido, stimulate you a bit overall, <laughs> not that it's bad now at all, I'm not saying any of this is bad. I'm just saying, the more watery and lighter we get our diets, and even moving on towards the idea of breatharianism, or at least like eating less food and needing less food overall, because you're more clean, healthy, efficient, vigorous, and vital, and fit. That's the other end of the spectrum. But at least like, know where you are in level of density. That's what I mean when I tell you about this video. How dense are you eating? How dense is your are your emotional your emotions and emotional field? Is your diet light and watery and bringing you joy and nutrition and satisfaction and fulfillment? Because you got to eat according to where you are emotionally and psychologically. That's extremely important. They're corresponded. They're corresponding, and if you rush one, you lose the other. It's all about balance, guys, and knowing thyself. As Socrates said, "Be true to thine own self." To thine own self be true. So if you want coaching on uh, healing, emotional healing, mental healing, um, relationship with food healing uh, and thriving and prospering and overall health, absolute prospering and thriving, get book a coaching session with me, at least one, maybe two um, or if more if you want. Um, relationship counselling I do also. I do body, mind, spirit, holistic life, spiritual life coaching. So really recommend that or at least go to other healers as well also. So, um, vegetarian is like at least the first step if you're eating meat. We ain't carnivores. If you're going to eat meat, get organic and eat it only once a week. But uh, it's too dense, generally speaking. If you want a really happy partner and relationship, I recommend lightening your diet, at least making it less clean and polluted free, organic, etc. Especially when it comes to meat. So uh, it's all about wellness, 